Hello mate, welcome to Red Hat. I'm Krutika. In this video, we are going to cover the satellite remote execution and how to patch systems using remote execution. In this demo, we will see what is remote execution, what are the different ways to add SSH keys, remote execution settings, default provided job templates, how to patch systems using remote execution, and why remote execution is better than catalog agent. Let's see what is remote execution. Remote execution allows you to run arbitrary commands on the host using SSH transport. A number of templates are included for running basic commands, installing irata, etc. Additionally, customized templates can be created to suit your needs. Remote execution is included as part of the satellite and capsule installation scenario. However, the distribution of the required SSH key will need to occur for existing clients. Let's see what are the different ways to distribute the SSH keys to the client system. SSH keys can be included in the Kickstart default template at the time of provisioning. In the Kickstart default template, simply include snippet remote execution SSH keys. Another way is to manually distribute the SSH keys using SSH copy ID utility. Alternatively, the capsule server publishes the public key over the API, so it can be downloaded into authorized keys directly from the client side. Let's see the demo. Here, Client.example.com is the host name of the client system and Satellite.example.com is the host name of the satellite server. Let's explore the remote execution global settings now. Default SSH key passphrase. By default, the SSH key passphrase value is not set. You can override it by using the default SSH key passphrase parameter. Default SSH password Password mentioned using this parameter is used as default password for SSH. Connect by IP In some organizations, there is no DNS resolution available. In such cases, connect by IP parameter can be enabled. By enabling it, IP address on the host interface will be preferred over the FKDN. SSH port Default SSH port is 22, but it can be changed using this parameter. Pseudo password Pseudo password can be specified globally using this. Effective user method 
By default, the sudo method is used to switch the user when effective user differs from the fetch user. Su or dzto methods can be used if required. Effective user Effective user defines the user for executing the job. By default, it is the fetch user. If the user differs from the fetch user, su or sudo is used to switch the user. Fetch user Default user to use for fetch is specified using this parameter. Root is used as the default user for accessing remote host via SH. You may set the remote execution SH user global setting to change the default. If you would like to override at the host group host or other level, you may use parameters to do so. Set a parameter called remote execution SH user. Enable global proxy. When this parameter is enabled, satellite will search remote execution capsule outside of the capsule assigned to the host. If locations or organizations are enabled, the search will be limited to the host organization or location. In order to perform the job on a host, there needs to be a capsule available to do the job. In the default install, it would use all capsules with a remote execution provider. Fall back to any capsule. Enabling this parameter allows the host to search any capsule with remote execution. It is useful when the host has no subnet or the subnet does not have an execution capsule. The plugin will consider any capsule associated with the host as long as the capsule also has a remote execution feature. Let's see a demo to execute a simple command on the host using remote execution. You can see that in the search query the host name is already present. Here the template used to execute the command is run command fetch default template. The commands which we have provided during the job execution are stored in the command variable and are executed on the client system. We can check the output of the commands executed by clicking on the name of the host. Let's see the templates now. There are number of templates which are included for running basic commands, installing packages, etc. There are different categories of default templates present on the satellite server. Let's see few of them. Power. This template can be used for performing the power actions such as restart or shutdown of the target host. Package. These templates are used to perform package related actions. Install, update and remove actions are included by default. Catalog. These templates are used for performing content related actions. These are used mainly from different parts of the satellite web UI. For example, bulk action UI for content host. But these can be used separately to perform operations such as irata installation as well. Commands These templates can be used to execute custom commands on the target host. Services these templates are used for performing actions such as start, stop, status and restart of the services. Puppet These templates are used for executing puppet runs on the target host. 
Now let's see how we can patch the system using remote execution. We can see that this security errata are applicable for this host. Let's try to apply the errata to client system. As the job is completed, let's verify if the errata is available for the client or not. As the errata is not listed, we can see that the errata is applied to the host. For applying the errata, by default, the install errata catalog SH default job template is used. The errata is applied using the yum update minimal hyphen hyphen advisory command. The errata ID which we have specified is stored in the user input variable and then applied to the system. Let's see why remote execution is better than catalog agent. Patching the system using catalog agent requires the catalog agent packages installed on the target host. And also, the GoFoldy service needs to be running on the host. However, remote execution does not require any service running on the client system. We just need to copy the SH keys in order to perform remote execution. Thank you for watching this video.